Forehand smash is the most efficient way to transfer your energy to the ball to create the fastest and powerful shot. Learning and mastering forehand smash will help you understand how to lead the game with these deadly shots. So if you have watched and learned forehand driving footwork, it's time to learn smash. This is Coach Daniel and today oh, I'll be talking about forehand smash, a shot that will make your game stop. Just remember that learning move for smash is an extension of your forehand drive, so make sure that you have learned a solid forehand drive. The key for smash is that you need to understand the power comes from your swing speed. So what we need to do for smash is an explosive version of forehand drive. Swing faster and rotate your body more to shift your weight from the right to the left. Explosive. The contact zone is same but smashing the ball about your shoulder level is ideal as a contact point. The reason why this contact point is good is because our shoulder is the axis of arm when it's rotating. So you can get higher velocity, which results in faster swing speed at the contact point. Plus, you can see the ball better. Of course, we need to adjust when the ball is higher, but if not too high, it's a good idea to adjust the body height to the ball so you can swing the same. So now, let me point out key factors that will bring your smash to the next level. First, spacing and stance. Some space from the table is helpful for you to generate more power by moving your body forward. So take about a half step back on your right foot to create space on your right side. Remember, you need space, but you don't want to be too far from the table nor from the ball because you want to catch the top of the bounce, which gives you the best angle of instance, and the top of the bounce is usually not that far from the table. Also, you want to be next to the ball, not behind. So, don't stay too far. Second, don't drop the pedal and make your swing compact. Don't try to drop your arm. If you drop, your swing can become awkward. And it is hard to smash whether you will end up brushing the ball because you have to swing upward to contact the ball. When you smash the ball, you need to feel your blade hitting the ball. This is very important to bring the best efficiency of energy transfer. When you contact the ball, there will be three layers that will play a role to bounce the ball back. Rubber, sponge, then blade. Obviously, blade is hardest of three layers and will have the greatest reaction. And to reach the bottom of these three layers, which is the blade, you need to not only swing fast, but also align the swing and the ball's direction towards each other. If you do so, it's easier to make a loud sound, pow, which is a good indication of blade involvement at the contact. This basically means that your swing can become more efficient when it draws a straight line from the beginning to the end of the stroke. Think about placing your pedal right behind and or slightly under the ball, with some space that you can accelerate and keep it under control. Applying the force forward and not upward is very important when we talk about the efficiency of energy transfer. Third, weight shift. Shift your weight from the right to the left. The order of this weight shift is one, put your weight on the right side by rotating and leaning to the right. Two, push from the toes and legs and rotate your torso to gain explosive rotation as you swing. Three, contact the ball. Four, weight is thrown forward and downward as landing onto your left foot after your body rotation. If you just hit the ball really hard with forehand drive swing, the ball will definitely go out of the table and that's not what we want. We want to have accuracy and full speed at the same time. So while we keep our smash swings quite similar to forehand drive, try to press down your body as you contact. Then these two force directions will allow you to keep the ball on the table. Key is not changing the swing but adjusting our body according to the ball. Five. Right foot follow through. If you leave your right foot behind, it will drag your weight and therefore slowing down the swing. Both feet should have moved a little as you smash to complete shifting the weight. Then, don't forget to recover. All these happen very quickly, but you may break down and check which part you missed that makes your smash inconsistent or not efficient. If you have a hard time understanding or smashing the ball, here is another tip. Although I have never slapped someone, it seems quite similar to slapping a chick. Or clap to make a big sound. When you want to clap loudly, it's not about how hard you push each hand, 
but it's about hitting at the sweet spot on the hands as fast as you can. Remember that the key is the efficiency and consistency for any stroke. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you for watching.